Hey everybody! So today I'm doing a get ready with me video. Um, Cause tonight we're going to the Hunger Games premiere. So I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm just <laughs> I waited so long for this movie to come out. Um, Cause I'm obsessed with the Hunger Games trilogy. And, well not trilogy, it's actually a four part, a quad, I don't know. The series, the series, yes. I can't wait for it, I'm so excited. So I decided to film myself getting ready for the movie because I'm actually planning on doing something a little different today. I'm gonna do kind of a tutorial. So you guys let me know um, how you like it. And uh, if you wanna know what I'm gonna do, then keep. You know what's funny when people are like, if you wanna see what I'm gonna do after I finish this intro then just keep watching but obviously if they wanted to know they would keep watching because they clicked on the video I don't, I don't know anyway 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 no shade no shade no shade starting off with fix plus whenever I spray my fix plus I have to like put my arm like this to cover my edges so that I don't get my edges puffy what are we doing over here uh, my face and body foundation by Mac and I'm going to mix that with my Revlon Color Stay. And the only reason I'm mixing it is because I'm getting lighter. When my foundation's too dark, it oxidizes. Once it's settled and you know, you walk outside and everything, your face is a totally different color than the rest of your body. Um, that is not okay. So that's why I mixed it a little. Going in with my brow gel here. I'm doing my eyebrows a little straighter than normal, just to give them a little effect, you know? This one's normally... This is optional, but I am gonna highlight. This is a special occasion, so... put some concealer atop all of this highlightation going on. And I'm going to use one of my little baby beauty blenders. So now I'm going to set all of this with some banana banana powder. Now I'm going to contour my face. My Smashbox um, Halo Perfecting Powder. So coming in from the inner corner here, working my way down. My hollows of my cheekbones on my forehead. My blush is going to be red, so I'm going to use NARS Exhibit A into where my contour is. MAC Raisin Blush, just to give it a little more redness. I'm going to do the same thing, like around my temple area and down the sides of my face. Like, kind of blend all of that in with my regular face powder, which is my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in golden or tan golden or dark golden, whatever it is. The 
same blush, this one that I used. Um, and I'm going to put that on my lower lash line. Instead of going into the inner corner, I'm going to go down. And then on this side, I'm going to go upwards. Like that. Okay, so now that you have the base of your red going on, now I'm going to do um, top eyeliner. So, so. Sorry, that's my Sims. Okay, it's perfect on this side, I don't wanna mess it up. Fill in the space between the red and the black. Okay, I hope you guys can really see what I'm doing, but yeah, take white from my Lorac Pro palette on top of the nude pencil that I just used. Take me to Brazil palette. I'm going to take that red and I'm going to apply it on top of the red blush just to give it a little more, a little more color. Alright, do I look like a warrior or not? And the lashes I'm going to be using MAC 48s. Look like that. So this is the finished eye look. So for my lip color, I don't really know. I think I want to do something like pale. I want like pale lips with my foundation brush. I'm going to do Sis lipstick. And I'm going to do my Rihanna lip gloss on top. Yeah, this is the finished look. I just put on my wig and I moved it over to the side part because this side of my face is like really bumpy and stuff. So I decided to cover it. I put some concealer here to line up my part. Pretty much it, you guys. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And if you guys have any questions or suggestions or ideas for me, let me know. And I'm going to go see this movie now. So, bye!